My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Today we've got a 1968 Camaro SS from a really good seller. His cars are dialed in, the key buzzer works, it doesn't overheat, it shifts through the gears. Trust me, all of his cars are great. Everyone who buys a car that he has owned is very happy with them. What we got here is a LT1 NOS motor, which I'll tell you all about. Uh, Four-speed trans, 342 posi, rack and pinion steering, four-wheel disc brakes, and it's a sharp-looking car. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we have for sale, volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath the car is beautiful, clean, rust-free metal. It's so nice. They prepped it and they painted it gloss black, but the braces and rockers and uh, all that's in really nice shape. And all the components have been replaced or rebuilt. Uh, starting up front, the ball joints, bushings, springs, all of it has been replaced as a Hotchkiss sway bar. Also has rack and pinion power steering up front. In back, it's got tubular Caltrack uh, traction bars. It has uh, coil over shocks uh, and all the rear suspension bushings, all that has been replaced. It's got a really nice exhaust system, nice fat pipe with the X pipe in the middle, uh, Flowmaster mufflers. The fuel system has been replaced. The tank still looks new, uh, new fuel lines, upgraded brake system, it's disc at all four wheels as a new uh, parking brake assembly. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean, as an eight quart oil pan, uh, high torque starter. Uh, it's an M20 Muncie four speed, uh, and all of the components are new. It's a center force clutch, uh, Hurst uh, competition shifter. In back, it's a 10 bolt rear end with uh, 342 posi gears and a finned aluminum cover. So everything underneath the car is in excellent uh, condition. Also has the Hotchkiss uh, sway bar in the back. The body is really clean, straight, shows really well, no damage, no, oops, sorry, no problem areas, smooth all along the bottom, all metal. The paint is torch red, that's a bright red, and it's slick, it's shiny. Uh, I touched it, it even feels slick to the touch. You got a metal cowl hood, you got the black painted on stripes that you can barely feel. You got spoilers, you got no vinyl top, so it's slick. Now there are some imperfections, an older paint job, you have to look for them. Up in the middle, there's what they call fish eyes when they were spraying it, there must have been a little can uh, contaminant in the air, little uh, divots, they're not gonna spread or ever get worse. Uh, so minor flaws, a little scratch right here, but I'm telling you, anyone that just stands and looks at the car, it's just, it's just striking. They're not going to notice any of that. Overall, the chrome and trim is really nice. The front bumper has a little bit of wear. Seems like everything in the back is new. The bumper, tail lights, gas cap, marker lights. Uh, it has this extra trim up here on top. This looks new. Rain gutters look new. Uh, it's got good glass. Uh, mirrors look new, emblems are nice and sparkly. They're chrome plated 15 inch rally wheels. They're nice and wide, probably eight inches wide. Got some meaty BF Goodrich tires, uh, even bigger in the back. So it's got a nice aggressive stance with some meaty tires and wheels. Uh, front and rear spoilers, I think I mentioned. The grill is in very good shape, probably an eight out of a 10. I mentioned NOS motor, that's new old stock. This engine is a uh, warranty replacement block from Chevy. It had all of its internals, never was used. 
So it's a 1971 LT1 motor, had the forged pistons and uh, the LT1 cam. Uh, all of it was a complete engine that had never been run until it was put in this car. It's got the 202 angle plug heads. On top, it's got aluminum intake with a Howie dual feed carb, uh, HEI or an Excel uh, ignition system. It's got some nice finned aluminum valve covers, got headers, runs real strong. Deluxe interior is pretty much all new. New uh, molded door panels, uh, new carpet on the floor, new cushions in the seat, new deluxe upholstery on the seat, headliner, visors, all that's real nice. Trunk compartment, all solid metal. It's got a gray and aqua spatter paint. Uh, it does have a spare. I don't have a jack in it. It's got a nice carpeted mat with sewn edges. New weather strip. The red paint is not, you know, pristine, but it's, it's painted nicely. The whole dash area is real nice. Dash pad looks new. The knobs, the vents are sparkling. The heater control panel is excellent. It has a cushion grip steering wheel. Uh, it's a Hearst shifter. It's got all the GM seat belts, all the right seat belts, front and back, even the shoulder belts. Dome light works. Does have an older stereo. It's an AM FM cassette, but it sounds good. All four speakers are working. Now in here, it's got uh, a manual brakes, but it is disc at all four wheels. It does have power steering. It's got a four row radiator. Uh, guy we got it from said it runs cool all day long, runs 50 pounds oil pressure even when it's warm. It's got a chrome pulley, all new hoses. Uh, so a very tidy, clean, proper engine compartment. I think it's time to start it up. New weather strips, sill plates are new, door jams are painted very nicely. Again, not a $20,000 paint job, but they're, they're good looking. It does have an aftermarket tack on the column and it has the gauge cluster down below. Nice sounding cam. The whole uh, fan is chrome, actually, the pulley and the fan. I mentioned earlier as coil over shocks. I think I was mixing that up with a different car. the horn because I knew it would work. I'm sure all the lights are working. I'm telling you, this guy owns a repair shop and he loves old cars and he really is conscious about it. He goes through his cars, makes sure they're dialed in. He wouldn't sell a car knowing it has an issue. Uh, so whoever buys this, it's turnkey. You could leave here right now with the car. Uh, that's my impression. Go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study all the pictures. Uh, and plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. If you have any specific concerns or questions, they'll help you with that. They can help get you financed. They can get this delivered anywhere in the country. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.